Hey YouTube, I'm George the RV Dude, and I'm here to show you a 2023 Halloween of Puma 31 ROQS. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so I do just very want to quickly talk about myself a little bit and also show you what comes onto this Puma. But I get it, most of y'all might just want to go with the walkthrough and just continue on with the video. Here's a floor plan picture of this one. Again, it is a 31 ROQS. Go ahead and skip to the timestamp listed here somewhere onto the screen. That's going to start the walk around video from there. Now, if you want to see how this particular Puma is equipped or where you could find one of these at, go ahead and keep watching. Alrighty, so this is going to be the build sheet of it. So a few things here. These two packages are required by Puma. So you're going to see this on just about any Puma. Your value shopper package and your advantage packet. If you want to see what comes in all these, go ahead and pause the video and read through them all. I'm mainly going to talk about the uh, optional stuff that we have here. So this one is going to have the limited edition package and it will have the electric power package. So starting with the limited edition, it is going to give you really good features here. So we will have the two AC setup. with that two ACs. You are going to have that 50 amp service. Your main living room is going to be upgraded to 15,000 BTU while your bedroom AC unit is going to be a 13.5 BTU. You are going to have an electric fireplace uh, with your black tank flush as well. Really nice features to have. And you do have a roof mounted ladder. Uh, this is a, a completely walkable safe roof to be up there. So you, if anything you need to go you do have that roof ladder already installed from the factory. Your electric power package is going to give you your electric stabilizer. So you have two in the front and two in the back for a total of four. And an electric tongue jack is standard with Puma, uh, but with this additional package, it is making it a stronger tongue jack as well. Now, other than those packages, you are going to have a TV bracket into the living room set up for you. And a few things over here on the back side as well. So you are going to have the nicer trifold sofa instead of the jackknife so it's a lot more comfortable and much more easier to deal with. You are going to have theater seating instead of your pushback recliners. This will be really up to preference. I do like the theater seating though. Uh, you are going to have your washer and dryer prep done already and then your standard RV stuff as well. Your roadside assistant, your carbon monoxide detector, your RV seal, and your dealer pickup. So now this is going to be showing uh, not including freight. So your base price, not including any options at all, was at 49. With all of the packages and options we have, it's right at 10,000 valued at it, with its suggested retail right at 59. So now that does include the two uh, required packages that are listed on here as well. But Puma has a lot to offer you and it's at a really great price. We do work with everyone as much as we can. Which, speaking of that, it is time to tell you where you can find one of these. So, again, I'm George, or just call me the RV Dude. I'm over here with Ron Hoover, RV and Marine Centers of Bernie. If you do really like this video, uh, go ahead and give me a call. I'll have some sort of link down in the description where you can reach out to me. And I'll be more than happy to work with you on this Puma. But we have not only this floor plan, but we have many other floor plans available. We are currently the largest RV and marine dealer in the state of Texas, so we have a whole lot to offer you right now. Other than that, let's go ahead and take a look at the Puma now. All right, so this is gonna be the outside of the Puma. For Puma, they did refresh in the uh, decals on the outside for 2023. Not too big of a change. This model over here is a 2022. Definitely looks nice, that looks real professional. So pretty standard over here. Your electric tongue jack is just going to be stronger with that package that was here. You just have a simple button for ex uh, extend and retract. Just in case you do have a manual override right here as well. Your propane cover that'll have two propane tanks in there. And then you do have a spot for two batteries also. Right down here is going to be your battery disconnect. So you do have that option onto here as well. And as we look over to the side here, this particular Puma 31 ROQS is going to be a length of tip to tip, 36 feet and 1 inches. Its dry weight is going to be 8,743. And if we look over here, its GVWR, its gross vehicle weight rating, is going to be 10,500 when you fully load it. So we're going to take a look at the non-door side here real quick. So as we walk over, this will be our first storage compartment. So these storage compartments will be held up with a clip. You just pull this open, it'll hold it in place. 
and this part right here is going to be underneath the bed. So you got plenty of storage here. You have carpet in there so that way it won't scuff anything over. As we continue forward here, this is going to be the middle. As we can see, it does have a double axle setup. And this is going to be where your exit tanks are at. So this is going to be for your black and your gray tank here. You have all the options. Right here, you do have an outside shower, so you have access to both hot and cold. Great if you have pets. Great if you just need to wash your boots off or anything like that. And this is going to be where your shore power is located. Just like we saw on the build sheet, it is going to be a 50 amp service there. This is where you do your city water connections and then you just have your exhaust port here. For your black tank, this is going to be where your flush is at. So it's located all in one convenient area. You don't have to go from tip to tip of the trailer or anything like that. As we go on down, they just have some more decals going on to make it look nice. You do have the LP quick connect right here, if it would focus a bit. It is a little into there, but that little yellow tag sticking out. If you have your own gas grill, you can bring it along. Right down through here, this hole is where you can uh, put in the tool that comes with it. It is a manual override for your slide outs. Just in case it ever fails or if there's not enough power, uh, it does have a manual override option also. Right through here, you are going to have your cable, your satellite, and your living room satellite as well. So they got all these set up here. This one does come with the spare tire as well. And let me get away from the sun here, but there is going to be that roof mounted ladder. And then you do have the pre-wiring for a backup camera as well. So I'll get a shot of the roof as well to show you what it's like up there. Uh, for now, we'll go ahead and continue around. So, you have a more convenient LP quick connect right here. A lot easier to get to for your gas grill. And this is going to be the button for your power stabilizers. So you have two back here. And you've got two more in the front end. So this is one big slide. And again, this is going to be the 31 ROQS. They do have the sticker on here to show you that it is the extended season package. They do have a heated enclosed underbelly. This little handy storage compartment is going to be where your dinette is at. You do have the nice big handle for your steps. And then this is going to be the step above aluminum solid step. So real nice to have. You don't have to mess with the one that folds underneath the trailer. If we look up, I don't have the awning out, but you got a nice long awning and it does have an LED light strip as well. You do have two outside speakers. And then over on this side is we're going to be where your fresh water connection is at. You have two 110 outlets. And then the location for your other uh, two stabilizers as well. So these Pumas are pre-wired for solar as well. So if you have your own solar blanket or solar briefcase, you can just plug into here. And it is pre-wired to start charging up your batteries also. This storage compartment is actually going to lead you straight to your closet as well. This is going to be where your washer and dryer pre-wiring is done. As we can see, there's a door. We'll go ahead and take a look at the inside here. But it's also handy for just any storage if you don't have the unit in there. Okay, so this is the roof of the Puma. Not too much going on here. This is going to be your first AC unit over on the back end. And on the front side, that's going to be your second optional uh, AC unit onto there. Other than that, you just have your pretty simple stuff here. Your skylight dome, your roof vent. Now this is gonna be a fully walkable roof as well, so it is safe to be up here. And this is where your ladder is located at again. Okay, so we are in the inside now. This is gonna be where your front door is at. As we look over, this is your control panel. So you have a pretty good control panel, very simple layout for it. You have your awning, your slide outs, and all of your light controls. Your water heater and your water pump, and then your tanks as well to let you know what they're at. This is going to be the setup. I'll put a picture of the floor plan up here. That way you can take a look at it. But it's a really good setup with the rear living island kitchen. As we take a look, this is going to be your dinette. This does fold down to be a bed as well. This is going to be where that storage was that we saw outside. You do have these nice roller shades. So you don't have the accordion style 
all you gotta do is just pull it down it's a lot easier now these lights are controlled separately so they're not all, all on one switch you just have the button right up here and it looks really nice so beautiful setup here you do have your recliners uh, in place of the pushback ones excuse me your theater seating so these are really good you got two cup holders here you have a good amount of storage in the middle and then these are going to be your pull handle recliners so you have that little plastic handle and it'll just kick up your feet we'll put that back in here and you do have a usb port here to charge your phones and devices also you do have nice overhead cabinetry and this is going to be the rear window setup so you do have your trifold sofa in place of the jackknife so a really nice upgrade and then this is going to be your entertainment so you do have the electric fireplace again that is electric but it does produce heat as well you do have your radio here there are speakers inside and outside and then you got plenty of storage which would be behind the tv which we saw in the build sheet it does have the bracket so it's ready for your tv now they don't have the tv in there because they have you uh, set up for Wi-Fi so you're already pre-wired for that huge pantry here so you got plenty of room for all your food nice amount of shelving storage as well this will be your island kitchen you do have the one tent outlets on this side here you have a little bit of accent lighting there also you have a nice little storage compartment here for anything you may need and under the sink storage as well so you are going to be set up with the farm style sink it is just the one basin you can pull this off as well and you do have half a sink of your drying rack uh, sink cover as well the other one is open so real convenient to be able to continue washing dishes while you're drying something really nice light fixtures here and they put these in just about all of your pumas it looks really nice you do have this as well it'll be a coat hanger setup and as we look this way your cooking area so you have a pretty good setup uh, you do have your microwave here pretty standard size microwave that will be a convection microwave you got a pretty good amount of countertop uh, as well here not including your island kitchen so you have a lot here your cooktop is going to be with a three burner setup if we turn on the light here make it a little easier you got a glass cover easy for cleanup puts it out of the way and then you have a really nice size oven down here little bit of overhead cabinetry as well goes all the way back and then these are gonna be those last bits of storage so this one is set up for silverware or in any big utensils you would have for cooking while these down here will just be open storage so throughout the trailer you are gonna have floor vents for your heater this is gonna be your main AC which if you watch where the build sheet was uh, this is gonna be the one that was upgraded to 15,000 BTU and you do have these all through the trailer this is just gonna be your ducts for your air so this one AC will power the whole trailer and there is a second one into the bedroom you have your AC controls here as well and as we go into the bathroom you have a nice night light that is motion sensor if you look down you do have a pretty good amount of walking space you have a pretty nice setup for your toilet it's not too cramped definitely makes the most of your space you have your toilet holder you have your towel holder up here and if we turn around you have a pretty good setup for your sink so they do have some things in place for you already such as your toothbrush holder your soap holder on the very top as well you have a few controls over here for your vents up above with some more 110 outlets. Pretty good storage underneath as well. If you look this way over here, tons and tons of storage for any linens. 
plenty of space for towels or anything else that you would put into the bathroom. This is a mirror right here. So it's a kind of a medicine cabinet. Pretty good amount of storage in there as well. And then this is gonna be where your bat your shower is in. So this is a walk-in shower. Right now it's just locked into place for when you're traveling, but it can open up the other way as well. Makes it easier to walk in. So it is pretty wide and you do have a stool that you can sit on as well. If you're a pretty tall guy or gal, you do have a skylight dome as well to give you some extra headspace. But to give you any sort of idea, all right, so I am standing in the shower with shoes on as well, so it has a little bit of extra height. I'm about six feet tall, maybe on a good day. But as you can see, I'm a pretty good height with the shower here. If we look up above, I actually am pretty good with the headspace provided already without in need of the skylight dome. And again, I'm about six feet tall and I am wearing shoes as well, so it gives me a little bit extra height. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the bedroom really like the colors that they use for the door so this would be the bedroom here so you do have a nice queen size bed it is a 60 by 80 it's a full size one you do have a window as well and it does have a night roller shade to make it easier looking up above you have your pretty standard uh, overhead cabinetry you do have more lights as well just in case and you do have these little night storages next to it. So if I show you real quickly, you got plenty of walking space right here. Plenty of room to walk around. Your bedroom is on a slide out. Your physical bed is at least. So this wood trimming all the way around. And if I turn around here, you have a, a little drawer. And looking down as well, there's plenty of room. So with this drawer, you do have your USB chargers as well. You do have open storage here. Up above, you are gonna have a spot for your TV backer. So they have identified where you can put one in. And then you have your TV set up here. So you have your 110 outlets for power, and then you have your cable and satellite. And then just letting you know it's pre-wired. So that first AC in the living room is ducted all the way back here. When it's time to go to sleep, you can basically turn that one off and turn this one on. This one will just blow straight into the bedroom here. It will be the 13.5 uh, BTU option. And this is going to be your closet. So you have a huge amount of storage into here. So if we open this up, this is all going to be connected as one piece, just uh, multiple doors. You do have a hanging rod and some more open storage up above. If we open this up a little more to show you from this beam to your hanging rod is really huge distance so you'll have plenty of room to put your hankers in and the same thing from the back of the beam to the wall is going to be very big as well it's a little easier to tell when we look at the baseboard down here but it is real big into there you can still put something at the bottom for storage for cubbies for shoes or anything like that and you still got plenty of room to hang your clothes in. And that is not including this other closet, which as we saw outside, this is gonna be where your washer and dryer could go. So plenty of storage here. You do have a setup for hanging rod as well. This is also just a wire storage up above, but this will be where your washer and dryer can be set up. All right, I hope you enjoyed this walk around video of the 2023 Palomino Puma. And again, this particular one is a 31 RLQS. Now, if you did like this Puma, the way that it is equipped, I do work over here at Ron Hoover RV Marine Centers of Bernie. We order all of our Pumas with all of the available options for the most part. I'll be sure to leave something down in the description that way you can reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to work with you. If this Puma maybe did not meet all your needs, check out my youtube channel i have more floor plan walk around videos on there as well let me know which one best fits you other than that i hope you've had a great day